making people aware of what is needed to be done and aware of what sort of vision do we like to have for the future to come. And from that point of view, how can we make that make becoming reality? Then, of course, I can see that uh, uh, one shortage is that most of our planning is uh, being done in silos. People are thinking in silos, working in silos, planning in silos. And that is not the way that you can find the solutions. The solutions must be a much more holistic way. Only maybe experts can live in the silos, but people don't live their lives in silos. Is it a tension between uh, uh, the short political terms that you are elected on and the need for long-term planning? No, I don't believe it is like that. But all the time you must understand what sort of decisions do have to, to, to survive the coming elections. If you are, for instance, building the infrastructure in the city, then you must understand that, that if people should like to come there, invest there, then they must know that there's not the risk that the next election will change this in opposite way. Then they won't invest there. So it's, it's for both the majority and the opposition. It's very important that the, the decisions for the future, they can take hand and say that this will last even if the other parties are coming to rule. So the long-term politi political decisions must be in a much more consensus way. an inclusive leadership, a leadership that you understand that it's not being a sort of person pointing out the direction, it's forming the, the common vision. That's a common vision. When we're talking about planning for the future, that is not a one term for, from a political point of view. That means that the decisions that you're making, the visions that you're forming, must sustain the next election. That means that you must form, form a common understanding on the important goals, and including the business sector, including the university sectors, including the economic sector, in, including the NGOs. This, the planning, is in reality the very most important democratic process. And that must be done not every year, but maybe every three, every four, every five years. You must iterate that planning process and include the people in it. And to have the understanding that when you're talking about the future, you should ask those that are about 20, 25 years of age today, because the values that they create today, these values will follow these persons all their lives.